Hey everyone, Catch here. So I'm going to do a quick video showing um, how I use the uh, Aurorus Gigabyte gaming box back there uh, with my Dell XPS um, and now with my um, Acer Nitro um, with my setup. So 4K monitor, keyboard, mouse, uh, my microphone, my hard disk, and my USB hub there with that I have everything plugged into and I was asked the question uh, can uh, you use the box uh, to dock the Dell so basically yes Dell it's, uh, no powers no cables in it it's in my little uh, laptop holder and so what we want to do is just plug in the Thunderbolt 3 connection from the gaming box and we just want it to power on uh, and get working so I'm going to demonstrate that right now um, here's the Thunderbolt 3 cable um, you obviously would want to use the one that comes with the box it's only um, short uh, I think it's 25 centimeters 50 centimeters is it um, but it uh, it has it's one of the ones that you know actually provides a power um, so we connect that into uh, uh, USB slot there and then we just give it a second he says oh you can see there the mouse is just fired up I can hear the fan coming on oh, keyboard light is on oh and the monitor is starting to fire up by the looks. And there we go. So and that's how you use it for docking. Um, so this uh, this box, the gaming box, can deliver a hundred watts of power via the uh, a USB 3 cable, uh, the, sorry, the uh, Thunderbolt 3 cable. Um, and while the Dell would complain, um, unless you change a BIOS setting, which I'll do a video straight following this one, um, it would normally complain and you'd have to open up the laptop screen and click OK. Um, so you need to disable that option in the BIOS, which um, we're going to see in a minute in this actual video. So I've booted into the BIOS of my Dell, so that's F2 uh, when the machine's starting up, just press it, um, keep on pressing it until it goes into the BIOS. Um, you also have to open a laptop screen for this because it won't output to HDMI or uh, anything like that while you're at that part there. Sorry, I'm still using my phone again. Alright, so you want to go to power management and go to AC uh, behavior. Tick that on, uh, tick that to on, wake on AC, um, and then uh, USB wake support, um, enable USB wake support, and uh, enable wake on Dell USB docks. Uh, so then put on those, and then um, this uh, adapter warning. So under post behavior, adapter warnings, enable adapter warnings, uh, disable that one. Uh, so basically what this uh, warning for is if you put in a, a charging adapter that's um, under the recommended Dell settings. So the Dell um, recommends 130 watts, um, which is amusing because the actual battery in it's only 60 watt. Um, so it will charge on any charger that um, supplies more than 60 watts. Uh, so a Thunderbolt 3 uh, connection, the one with the uh, gaming box, um, provides 100 watts, uh, so it charges fine. Um, so once you've um, set those settings, um, save, uh, save them and then exit and uh, you should be good to go. Um, I'll just uh, transition to another video now just to show you uh, the Dell charging uh, off my um, box. So just to show you here that the uh, laptop is charging, I'll open the Dell power center. And you can see here that it's charging. 
Um, everything's good. So the only thing plugged into the laptop is the Thunderbolt 3 cable. Um, there's nothing going out of the laptop, it's just that cable. So everything in my setup is powered and driven by the eGPU, which is an Aurora's gaming box. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.